Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Previously on this channel, we've covered the current battery revolution extensively, from Samsung's graphene battery promising five times faster charging, coming to phones as early as 2020, to recent battery research breakthroughs, to an exclusive interview with an industry expert in battery recycling. In all of this, the company that has come up the most is Tesla. Love them or hate them, they were the pioneers of the latest iteration of the electric car. They forced innovation from industry old guards like Porsche and Jaguar, which is great. This isn't to mention their batteries used in industrial settings, such as balancing power grids. Elon Musk last year claimed something especially outlandish, a new battery that could last for over a million miles. Critics thought it was impossible, but a new study may prove that it is possible and indeed is coming. In this video, we'll learn about what's going on. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. In April of 2018, Elon claimed that Tesla would soon have a battery that can last for a million miles or about 1.6 million kilometers. The current battery pack is about maybe 300 to 500,000 miles. Uh, the new battery pack probably going to production next year is designed explicitly for a million miles of operation. The entire vehicle, battery pack inclusive, is designed to operate for a million miles with minimal maintenance. maintenance. After this amount of use, it will still have over 90% battery health remaining. To put that into context, that's two times the current lifespan of Tesla's contemporary batteries. We'll get to the details of the battery in a second, but if it's claimed, this could put electric cars in general in an interesting position. According to NBC News, a regular petrol car lasts for about 150,000 to 300,000 miles before something breaks that makes it not worth repairing. When you think about it, a regular petrol powered car is actually pretty complicated. It needs regular maintenance to keep it operational and it's unavoidable that some parts just wear out after a given amount of time. Problems like a slipping automatic gearbox or a blown head gasket can be expensive to repair and can take a car off the road permanently. Electric cars are much simpler, with the only major moving parts being the electric motor and usually a single speed transmission. With these new batteries, this all means electric cars could last longer than their petrol counterparts. It goes further than this though. As you've previously seen in the battery recycling episode, Rob, the industry expert I interviewed for the piece, stated that electric vehicle batteries have much more life after being used up in the car. They can then be used in power management to support a grid, and after that, lower and lower power consumption requirements until they can finally be recycled. With a battery with twice the state-of-the-art lifespan, this opens up a whole new world of opportunities. Okay, so let's take a look at the battery itself. A physicist by the name of Jeff Dahn led the research of the new battery, which was vastly superior to any other lithium-ion battery previously seen. Jeff is already a leading expert in lithium-ion research. Him and his team at Dalhousie University has an exclusive licensing agreement with Tesla. This suggests that this technology could appear in the company's cars. The details of the paper are pretty extensive. It includes the full cell design, including electrode compositions, electrolyte mixture, additives and more. The team's results show that these batteries could be charged and depleted more than 4,000 times, and after this, they only lose 10% of their original energy capacity. To put this into perspective, a 2014 paper showed that similar lithium-ion batteries lost half their capacity after only 1,000 cycles. According to the study headed by Jeff, which was published in September 2019, the 1 million mile figure is equivalent to two decades of in-grid energy storage. What's interesting though, is that the authors of the paper don't herald this all as a new breakthrough. They present it as a benchmark for other battery researchers. This is the opposite to common practice. Usually, battery designs are often a closely guarded secret within the EV industry. Providing this information to everyone aims to help other companies improve their own designs for the future. Here's a quote by the authors of the paper, quote, Full details of the cells, including electrode compositions, electrode loadings, electrolyte compositions, additives, etc., have been provided. This has been done so that others can recreate these cells and use them as benchmarks for their own R&D efforts." End quote. I think this is great news. 
This research was done to further the progress of battery technology, not just for one group, but as a whole, for everyone. And I think that's a noble goal. Generally speaking, there's usually a trade-off between energy density and battery lifetime. If you want more of one, you get less of the other. Jeff's group was responsible for doing the seemingly impossible. They overcame this trade-off. Now you can have increased energy density and battery life. Interestingly, the materials used in the paper aren't new. The huge performance boost was achieved through a great deal of optimizing already common battery ingredients. They also tweaked the nanostructure of the battery's cathode to increase performance. The new nanostructure is less likely to develop cracks when the battery is charging. Cracks in the cathode material cause a decrease in the lifetime and performance of the battery, and this happens during repeated charging cycles. Basically, the new cathode and this new battery will be able to resist more wear over time. Jeff Dahn estimates that most EV users use only about a quarter of a charge per day, but to make something like a fleet of robo-taxis or an empire of long-haul electric trucks, Tesla would need a battery that can handle full discharge cycles each day. This could really make electric long-range or long-term transport of many kinds much more feasible. So with so many stories of battery research rapidly coming forward, it seems like we're at the start of a new age. An age different from the previous decade where battery technology stayed stagnant. If you do want to see my previous battery videos, including the state of battery recycling, I'll leave a link to my battery playlist below. And just a quick update, while making this video, some other battery news just broke. Researchers at the University of Illinois in Chicago have made a new carbon dioxide battery that holds seven times more charge than current lithium ion methods. They've published their findings in the Journal of Advanced Materials. So if this video does well, and you do want to see a video about this new tech, I'll be sure to make it. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the Cold Fusion podcast, and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Anyway, this has been Togogo, and you've been watching Cold Fusion, and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.